Hello and welcome to this computational thinking course that I'm recording from home for you to take from home. Now, if we were meeting together physically, we might learn programming by getting some robots and uh, programming them to do some interesting things. But there's a problem. We're mostly online, and so that means we can't physically meet together to play with the robots. So what I've done instead is I've made various game-like environments that you can practice your programming in, in the comfort of your web browser, in the comfort of your own home. Now this has an upside and a downside. On the downside, we lose all that wonderful physical interaction, tangible interaction with the robots and seeing what they do. On the upside, it hopefully means we can play with a few more different environments, a bit of a bit more of a, of a variety. Now, these robots, they're um, individually, if I was to buy one, they're relatively inexpensive. But if I was to buy a whole bunch or if I was to ask you to buy a whole bunch of different kinds of robot, well, the cost would quickly add up. So hopefully by putting these environments into your browser, uh, you can play with more of them inexpensively. Now, there's four things that I would like the course to encompass. The first is I'd like to teach you a programming language. And the one that we're going to use is JavaScript, because almost everyone al already has an env environment that can run JavaScript programs, your web browser. The second one is I'd like to teach a bit of computational thinking. Now, uh, to me, that means thinking about problems in ways that we can play with them with programs, so that we can extract just the bits we care about and want to look at, uh, build them into a program and prod them and poke them and see how they behave. The third one is I'd like to give you a bit of a whirlwind tour of all the different sorts of computational thinking experiences that children are having in school. Well, many of them, probably not all of them. Um, these days, there's a huge variety of different computational thinking experiences that are going into schools and that children get exposed to. But we as grown ups don't get to do them all. So I'd like to give you a bit of a whirlwind tour of some of the things that are going on. The fourth one is I'd like us to look at social computing. Uh, computers are becoming more and more part of our lives as we interact with more and more devices. Uh, more, of the, more of them are artificially intelligent and there's things that analyze us and our behavior. And I have this great fear as a technology designer that as we build all this, if I design it badly, then I'm not just going to be building artificial intelligence, I'm going to be building artificial unreasonability. That you'll have things that you think are perfectly reasonable that you want the technology to do. And you're right, they are perfectly reasonable, but the computer says no. Or more often, the computer doesn't understand your context, doesn't uh, understand what you're thinking, has no idea what you're feeling, and can't even contemplate the question of what you're asking it to do. And so, of course, then rather than it conforming to you, you have to conform to it in ways that aren't reasonable to ask you to do. So those are the four strands of the course, if you like. And uh, the course will go relatively quickly, but hopefully it'll also be a little bit playful and a little bit fun.